want to show you a cool little trick. I'm putting a new regulator rectifier on this bike. The stator tested good, but the connector was melted, so we had to dig the old connector off, and I'm cleaning it up with some uh, emery cloth, getting this really good and clean the outside. But I think this little tip will save you some problems. We need really good integrity between these three connectors. Uh, this AC output here puts out a lot of heat to this regulator rectifier. The problem of just putting all three together in its new connector and then putting it in there is you could have really good connection on one but maybe not on all three and it gives you this false indication that life is good everywhere. So let me show you how to double check what you got going on. What I like to do is take a brand new connector individually and put it in here and feel that drag across there knowing that I have a good connection. If I don't, I could go ahead and ultimately it would be nice to replace them if that was an option, but if you don't have long enough wire, sometimes you're working with what you got. So I could go ahead and crimp these barrels down, smashing them down a little bit tighter to create some more drag across here. Another thing that I could do if I feel that it's really dirty in there is I could go ahead and put some valve grinding compound you know, around this connector, working it back and forth and cleaning it that way. Use a really good electrical cleaner, get this good and cleaned out. Regardless, I've got to make sure that all three of these, have, like this one's loose. This one's actually spread apart, so it definitely needs some work. And if I have a loss of integrity on one of these lines, it's ultimately going to affect the system as a whole. And that's my tip of the day for how to verify multi-pin connectors is to check them one at a time with a new one and get them where they're all working good because these are these are all three new on my my new regulator rectifier and get this back in shape so that I don't have any problems. There's a tip of the day for you from HowToWrench.com. As always you could feel free to like, share, uh, give a donation to promote this work and all these uh, free videos out there. We're over 500 on the channel now so thank you for subscribing and uh, as always keep wrenching.